Well, let's talk about tariffs because you mentioned that and there are a lot of critics who say what you and President Trump are now talking about is something much broader than a targeted tariff. They say it's immediately going to add thousands of dollars of new costs for Americans every year. A couple of former members of Congress, a Republican and a Democrat, wrote a piece in The Hill this week warning about this. They say a major element of his economic plan is the imposition of high tariffs on imports, which would be much more likely to lead to a depression than anything that Harris is proposing. They walk through President Hoover's decision to improve broad tariffs after the October 29 crash in the markets, and they say it led to the same things they worry would happen now, higher cost of living for all Americans, a tougher time, higher tariffs on U.S. exports, and actually killing a, a lot of manufacturing jobs here in the U.S. So why not be more precision about it than what it sounds like President Trump is suggesting on the campaign trail? And quickly, on Planned Parenthood, you guys have talked about defunding them, taking away government funding. They say that no U.S. taxpayer funding can fund to abortion, can flow to abortion at any stage, but they say they do hundreds of thousands of cancer screenings, birth control, which they say actually prevents another 500,000 abortions a year, and all kinds of other testing and medication contraception. Where would those patients go if Planned Parenthood lost the funding? Well, Shannon, what we've said is that we don't want taxpayer funding for abortion. Who, who won the 2020 election? We're gonna go to town. Could you just answer, did, did Donald Trump win yes or no? Yes. He did win. Yep. So will you, will you concede? Will you concede? If your opponent gets if your opponent gets more votes, will you concede? I really feel bad for you, man. <laughs> I, I just want to know if your if your opponent gets more votes, will you concede? Governor Walls has called you and Donald Trump, and that is weird. Sure. And it is taken off. The New York Times reports that when Donald Trump was asked about it, he said, "Not me. They're talking about JD." Well, certainly they've levied that charge against me more than anybody else, but I think that it drives home how they're trying to distract from their own policy failures. I mean, look, this is fundamentally schoolyard bully stuff. They can accuse me of whatever they want to accuse me of. Uh, as Harry S. Truman once said, if you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen. And I'm doing this because I think that me being vice president will help improve people's lives. So I, I, I accept their attacks, but I, I think that it is a little bit of projection, Dana, if you think about uh, you know, j just take a couple of days ago. Tim Waltz gives this big speech. He's been announced as the VP nominee. And I remember when I had just been announced as the VP nominee, I gave my big speech and I saw my wife and I gave her a big hug and a kiss because I love my wife and I think that's what a normal person does. Uh, Tim Waltz gave his wife a nice firm Midwestern handshake. The ink hadn't even dried on those Trump Vance signs before Trump started regretting his choice and throwing JD Vance right under the bus. But for the Silicon Valley tech bros, the alt-right white nationalists, and the fundamentalist religious sects, JD Vance just might be the ideal candidate for VP. You're in trouble, Donald. In the courts, in the streets, in your own party. But there's one big problem you never saw coming. Turn around. He's right behind you. It's JD. His billionaire friends mock you. Why do you think they forced JD Vance on you? Age is getting to you, Donald, and you're just too slow to see the plan. If you win, JD will come for you. You won't see him until it's too late. He won't wait until you make a mistake. JD's plot to invoke the 25th Amendment is already underway. Your cabinet betrayed you before. Why would it be different now? And with Democrats in the majority, no one will stop him. Republicans want someone younger, smarter, someone stable. A leader who will execute Project 2025 without your problems. Rupert's Wall Street Journal said Vance's version of Trump is better than the real thing. JD switched from never Trump hater to your running mate in record time. You thought that was real? You think he won't stab you in the back to seize 10 years of power in the White House? So yes, Donald, they really are up to get you. And the one who'll betray your presidency is right by your side. If elected, Trump would be the oldest president ever inaugurated, but his campaign still refuses to release his detailed medical records. What's he hiding? A heartbeat away from him is J.D. Vance. Quite literally one heartbeat away from the presidency. Trump is not a fit guy. A heartbeat away from the presidency. This man is not well. A heartbeat away. 78 years old. I will very quickly deflate, deflate defeat. He may not make it. The vice president becomes the president automatically. What did we learn about what the Vance presidency would be like? 
Roe versus Wade is an abomination. He said rape is inconvenient. Two wrongs don't make a right. Childless cat lady. Project 2025. It's a 900-page document. I guarantee yep. there are things that Trump likes. I'm very happy with the J.D. pick. Think of him as a member version of what we do. Kevin Roberts is a friend of mine. Bloodless if the left allows it to be. What an amazing coup this would be for Peter Thiel. You've benefited from your friendship with Peter Thiel. Sure. Fifteen million dollars. Do the people who fund your campaigns actually share your values? He's palling around with people who are skeptical of the 19th Amendment. If you got um, women to have more children. J.D. Vance wants to allow the tracking of women's menstrual cycles. You have you have people using abortion basically as another form of birth control. Trump refuses to release even the most basic information about his health. Republicans know that J.D. Vance is a liability for Trump's campaign, but money talks really loudly, and J.D. Vance has one huge financial backer. You, you supported your friends, Blake Masters, now running for the Senate in Arizona. By the time this airs, we'll know the outcome. And J.D. Vance, now running for the Senate from Ohio, by the time this airs, we'll know. Why those two? Is there, uh, you know them, they're friends. That's one element, I'm, of, of, I assume. But was there something distinctive about, uh, do, do they look to you like the future in some specific way um, that the Republican Party ought to pursue? Sure, there's a generational component. They would be the first, they would be the first uh, uh, millennial Republican senators. There's a, there's a way in which they've thought very deeply about these issues. Uh, there's a way in which I think they're not excessively dogmatic. You know, I, I often I often think that we have, you know, often say like to say we have two parties in this country. There's the evil party, the Democrats, and the stupid party, the Republicans. And I, I like both uh, um, J.D. Vance and Blake Masters because they don't squarely fit into either of those two parties. J.D. Vance is only 40 years old, young enough to be most of the GOP's grandchild. He represents the sort of smarmy, well-educated, white, overconfident person the party has always loved. And he's cosplayed so many different versions of himself over the years that he's boring enough to blend into most situations. Yes, he's awkward and weird, and no, he can't order a donut like a normal human, but if he doesn't destroy Trump's chances, he will pose a much bigger threat to democracy than a 78-year-old Donald Trump ever could. Peter Thiel isn't the only billionaire tech bro trying to influence this election, but he just might be the most long-sighted. Unlike Elon, who's been like jumping around on stage, appearing in his own pack ad campaigns, Teal is more subtle and also potentially far more sinister. He's trying to change the very fabric of how we run elections and what it means to hold power. He was one of Trump's biggest donors all the way back in 2016, so he's been around from the beginning. He played no small part in funding the MAGA movement. And Teal was, of course, J.D. Vance's former boss. He pumped $15 million into the VP's Senate candidate. Now, Teal's been doing the dirty work of sowing doubts about election results. And while Trump might hate having to campaign with J.D. Vance, in making him VP, he secured some of the biggest money there is in American politics. Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.